What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today I thought it'd be fun to pick up some Yu-Gi-Oh! Fist of the Gadgets packs. I've been eyeing these at uh, GameStop for quite a while now. I know they've been on the shelf for pretty much since the set came out. But lately this set has really gone up in price because there's been a lot of hype for Fire Fists. Um, I guess they're kind of getting more well known again or something because I don't really see them winning right now. But uh, I've always been tempted to build Fire Fists. I'm like, maybe maybe I should get a few before they get too hyped. And well, I kind of failed at that now because these booster packs are getting a ton of hype. And they're way more expensive than normal. Even the boxes. I think the boxes there for a while were like 40 bucks each or something. Like people couldn't get rid of them. And I think they've like doubled in price on eBay last time I checked. So... Let's see what we can get. I don't know. I, again, these have been sitting at GameStop for such a long time. I'm hoping we're going to have some really good luck. And uh, let me know, too, whether openings you guys like to see in the future as well. I just thought it'd be fun. I was like, well, good timing. I've been, I've always been thinking about buying them for GameStop. And because uh, mine actually usually has a bunch of cards. Not lately, because every store doesn't have cards anymore. You know, especially Pokemon. But Yu-Gi-Oh! has really been suffering, too. So, let's see. Maybe these were hiding some really amazing cards the whole time. Also, too, be sure to check out my link with TCG Player. If you click on that link and anything you buy from TCG Player, it doesn't have to be Yu-Gi-Oh cards, it doesn't have to be this set, but I'll have it where it takes you to this set. And uh, once you buy something from there, it helps support my channel. So I would greatly appreciate it. Anyway, let's get to the packs, okay? Boot up order gear charge. Oh, there you go. Robot steak. <laughs> Snake steak. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a minor stroke. <laughs> All right. From Bird... And Brother of the Fire Fists won. Okay, <laughs> I'll take that. Pretty good card to get after you have a stroke. What in the world? <laughs> I can't even blame that on anything. I was trying to make sure I said everything else right, and then I'm calling Snakes Stakes. Both are pretty Texan, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I guess it's been a long day. Well, there's our stake again. That's just what its name is now. Cleric. Death Gone Bird. We're getting like the same ones. Final battle. And Brother Fire Fist, uh, Eland. That's pretty cool. All right, we're getting, we're getting the Fire Fist card so far. I know it's like the Link Monster, Eagle, is like the one I think that has the most hype. And of course, Elephant and Panda, I think, are still relatively expensive, because those two are tough to get. They've always been that way. I think they were always like the more expensive ones. Also, you can tell they've been sitting in there for a little bit, because they're a little warped. But a heavy book, overnight, fixes it, no problem. Especially if you got a textbook. Morphage Sloth, Subterra Fiendus, Shooting Code Talker. Code Talker. And, oh, there we go! Brother Fairfist Elephant! Well, yeah, I think he is one of the ones. Like I said, I think it's Elephant and Panda, if I'm not mistaken. So, that's gotta be good. <laughs> Either way, I'll take it. That is awesome. I always love their artworks, too. I'll admit, I think that's always been one of the main reasons why I wanted to build them. Because I love their artworks. They just look so cool. And I think it's with Trivergy that they're getting like a, a little bit of hype and stuff too. So I might have to build them if I have everything. I don't think it's too expensive to build them anymore. Let's see. Red Gadget. Maybe they're considered sort of budget. We got Rooster. Bird again. Spirit. And Art Chain's Call. Yeah, we were doing too good getting all those uh, Fire Fists. I figured we'd get something else too. I really like the Summon School cards in this set, but uh, I just wish they were more usable. But the artworks are pretty amazing. Code Talker. Mr. Liger. Latency. Gorilla. And then we have Brother Fire Fist Ram. I don't think that one's as tough to get, but I'll take it. It's another Fire Fist, right? So, sure. Yeah, I've been thinking about doing, like, some budget app profiles and then, like, maybe setting up some kind of remote goals with some of my friends to uh, duel and maybe record that. If I can get all that set up. My remote goal setup's pretty good, but it's like getting someone else all set up and then internet to record and all that. We'll see. I would really like to do that, though. That's something I've been trying to kind of work on. Oh, the gadget cards and another one. Silver gadget. Sign up optimization. And boot up order gear force. Yeah, it's got some pretty cool cards in this, but yeah, <laughs> it, it wasn't really the same, you know? Wasn't really fair to them. But let me know what kind of videos you guys would like to see in the future. Another steak? <laughs> God, I am stupid. Uh, I still don't know how I got that confused. And boot up uh, Admiral Destroyer Dynamo. There you go. Cover card for them. 
I'm still hoping for at least one Fire Fist Eagle. Again, that's the Link Monster. So, I know he's tough to get. At least we got Elephant. Again, I, I hope that that's one of the tough ones to get. I think so. Fiendus, Shooting Code Talker, Regular Code Talker, Goliath. And Archie's Manifestation, another uh, uh, Summon Skull card. There we go. Swap Cleric, Bird. What else are we getting? Bear this time. And then we have uh, Fire Fortress atop uh, Lelang uh, Peak. Lang Peak. I, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. You, you have a dumb Texan saying, I guess a, uh, well, just any other language really for me is tough. So we'll just go with that. <laughs> I'm about to say, I, I'm not really sure exactly where the name comes from. I think it might be Chinese, but I'm not really sure. But either way, it's a beautiful card. And it is another card for Fire Fist. I'm not saying all Texans are like that, but... Me specifically, yes. <laughs> if you've seen the channel long enough, uh, yeah. <laughs> Do I need to say anything else? Probably not. Goliath. Oh, we got one of the uh, true Dracos. Draco Caster that time. Latency, Draco Fighter. And the Ultimate Fire Formation, Sento. It's a cool looking card. Again, they're really pretty cards. This set definitely had that. Packers might not have been as powerful as we hoped after this set, but they really did good on the artwork, at least. That team came through. Oh, there you go, Starving Venom. Chronicle Sorcerer, Senate Conflict, and Brother of Fist Swan. Yeah, I think we've gotten this one already, haven't we? Well, okay. <laughs> I guess I'll take another. Only three packs left. Can we get Eagle? I'm still hoping for that. It's like, again, top of the list, you know? Alright, Silver Gadget, Yellow Gadget. What else? And... Ah, uh, <laughs> we got another one of Eland. I saw that blue, and I was wondering. I was like, hopefully it's not the Ritual, but yeah. <laughs> You see that blue, and it's still, you know, Rituals and Link Monster, especially when you're going through them in a pack, it's still really similar to me. I'm like, which one is it? Draco Caster. Tieback Lancer. That's a good one. Another stake. That's just what it's going to be this video. And Archine's Call. Still love the way that card looks. And last pack. Okay. What can we end with? Can we end with at least a Fire Fist? I'm still going to try, though, for Eagle. That's still number one. Or Panda. I'll take that, too. I don't think I've ever gotten Panda out of a pack, honestly. So, either one will be good. Let's see. Like the two two of the rarest cards, basically, in the set is what I'm asking for. So, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> it's like asking, hey, can I have a Starlight? Maybe not that bad of odds, but bad enough on odds. Rooster? Sorcerer, Red Gadget, Gold Gadget, and... Ah, uh, unfortunately not. Although this is a pretty good one to get. Ignis Heat, the true Draco Warrior. So, yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't get an Eagle. We didn't get, like, some of the, the craziest cards. But we did, I believe, get one of them. Getting Elephant is awesome. And again, this set, I wanted to kind of tell you guys to... If you bought some of the set, you have, like, some of it in bulk or whatever, you might want to look it up on TCG Player or eBay or whatever you use. I, I use TCG Player because eBay hates me. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I mean, that's definitely what I would do if you don't plan on using any of these or whatever, just so you know what you have. And, and especially find some of these boost tracks or something. Again, they're hyped up right now. I've seen them sell for a lot more than normal. I bought all these. They were retail price, like, you know, around $3.99, like normal. So if you find them, you might want to pick them up. Let me know down in those comments below what you guys think. Of course, like and subscribe. Stay safe out there, too. Everything's still crazy around everywhere. I was about to say around here, but no, it's, it's everywhere. <laughs> of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.